Hollywood, you need to stop remaking some popular movie and turning it into a live action. A lot of people are not happy. A lot of people was angry that uh, <coughs> that Universal have audacity to remake How to Train Your Dragon, which is the best DreamWorks franchise ever. And I don't care what everyone said, which that franchise is really outstanding masterpiece. And, uh, and the third movie is such a epic conclusion. How this franchise blew up, but ain't wrong. Universal to scrap it, throw How to Train the Dragon 3 into the garbage can, and now we're getting a live action movie. Which, honestly, guys, I won't mind live action movie because live action movie is my thing. And honestly, guys, I prefer live action more than animation these days. So, yeah, and animation is not good it used to be, but thank God live action getting so many love. But remaking some live action is not original because. If <sighs> Because, for God's sake, we saw Beauty and the Beast 2017, which that movie is such a board fest, and we already seen Pinocchio 2022, which is hands down one of the worst Disney live action remake ever, so let's hope the World Mermaid 2023 will be the new worst Disney live action remake I've ever seen my entire life ever made. And so, hey guys, and honestly guys, and that's why I'm doing this video called My Pump with live action, aka live action remake. Uh, honestly, aka making live action into a powerful icon, uh, icon. so yeah. And so, you guys, and so, yeah, let's discuss. The first reason I have a problem with live action is has to be the fact that general audience, um, and, um, um, of uh, the general audience and the critic are not gonna like that. Um, uh, honestly, like, Beauty and the Beef 2017, that movie had potential to be a really good remake, but ain't wrong, that movie was boring, and that movie is a bad version of Beauty and the Beef, which, honestly, guys, Beauty and the Beef is such a masterpiece, and honestly, guys, do let me get started making the, uh, honestly, guys, do let me get started talking about the Beauty and the Beef, uh, the other sequel, which is another than Bell Magical War, which, honestly, guys, I might do a win of it, because, honestly, guys, that movie ruined Bell, and honestly, guys, they ruined one of the best Disney Renaissance princess I've ever seen in my life next to, um, next to Moan with the Moan 2. And thank God they're not going to do a jazz, uh, um, oh my goodness. Thank God, thank God they are not willing Pokemon Hunters. Honestly, guys, if they remake Pokemon Hunters, I would be fine with it because, honestly, guys, I'm not a huge fan of Pokemon Hunters. And honestly, guys, I like Pokemon Hunters as a princess, but her movie is really... <sighs> It's honestly, guy. It, honestly, guy. It's easily one of the weakest out of the Disney one. So, and don't we get started? That I dig song. Dig, 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 dig. Oh my goodness, that song is annoying and cringe. And sorry, guys. And so yeah. And honestly, guys, the winner. Move, oh, sorry. Uh, Beauty and the Beast 2017 has a potential to be a really good remake, but after I saw that movie on the Disney Cruise Line, that movie, uh, honestly, that movie is such a bore fest. <laughs> Man, it makes me want to fall asleep. And so, yeah, guys, and the, honestly, guys, in the pays, and the, uh, honestly, guys, in the pays, and the content they doing in that movie, that movie is honestly one of the most boringest Disney Five Action remake I've ever seen in my entire life. And honestly, guys, who could me the original, uh, the original Beauty and the Beast? It's a much better than the uh, live action Beauty and the Beast. And so, yeah. And Pink and, uh, sorry. And Pink and 2022. I have a lot to say about that because that movie, honestly, guys, that movie. <sighs> Oh my god, all we do is going to bring this movie up. I made a promise that I was never going to talk about the movie ever again. But ain't wrong, I had to talk about it because it's part of my movie critic. And so yeah, Pinocchio 2022, this is when, uh, uh, and honestly guys, this is when I had enough seeing the Disney Live Action remake. And I definitely agree with some people. Honestly guys, even Harry Thomas, Augie, and Sikitayo seeing the Disney Live Action remake. And all of the on sun, the on uh, sun, green light, so many nonsense they are doing. They are doing the Lion King prequel, which honestly guys, thank God Frozen 3 is, it's going to be a much better than the Lion King prequel. So what's the whole Lion King prequel will not make much money than Frozen 2? Which honestly guys, and honestly guys, I cannot believe why the Lion King 2019 is the highest grossing movie of 2019. It beat Frozen 2, which honestly guys, Frozen 2 is a much better, it, honestly guys, Frozen 2 is a much better. 100 times better than the Lion King 2019. That movie is a cash grab, same deal with Toy Story 4. Even Toy Story 4 is an overrated di the Pixar movie ever, so yeah. And so, hey guys, in the World of Movie 2023, I definitely agree with most people because I am not excited to see a black version of Ariel and how disrespect that you were going to do. And honestly, guys, even the actress who the voice of original World of Movie, and at least she's the fan of Harry Bowie. And honestly, guys, I love her. I love her, and I love her Sydney, but, but how in the world you, honestly guys, who in the white mind want to make a Little Mermaid 2023 a Star Wars style? 
Honestly, you're not hills and fours. You're not honestly, uh, honestly, guys. Who and the monkey want to see the wooden mermaid right back to remake trying to be like Star Wars? Honestly, guys, you're not Leia, you're not Kai Wayne, you're not Hunt Solo, and you're not Luke, uh, Luke Skywalker, and you're not Princess Raiders. And honestly, guys, and you're definitely not Dog Vader's. And honestly, guys, and honestly, I do not want to see the wooden mermaid 2023, which honestly, guys, I do not want to see the wooden mermaid trying to be like Star Wars. And honestly, guys, so are you get honestly are you telling me that the movie is going to be about Elio is dreaming about how to be um, how to become the Jedi and to go to the Star Wars universe? So I, I mean, I'm sorry, um, universe, um, universe, and train had to be a great Skywalker and all that. That's not honestly. Have you not even seen the movie? The movie came out in the eighties, and that movie is a fantastic. The Wonder Movie is all about Elio. I'm sorry. The Wonder Movie is all about Elio want to get Prince Eric, and so King Otis didn't want him. Uh, I mean, didn't want um, <laughs> didn't want her, and so her dad destroyed everything. Everything what Elio could question, and now she's crying, and now the villain is stealing Elio's uh, Elio's voice, and Elio and Prince Eric has a fun time, but all of a sudden. But all of a sudden, the villain, the villain took at Prince Eric, uh, front of her face, and so yeah. And at the end of the film, uh, Prince Eric killed the villain and happily ever after. And Elio and Prince Eric got married. This is what the Elio, honestly, guys, this is what the wooden movie is all about. It's not all about Star Wars style. Have you not even seen a movie? So yeah. And at this point, I'm getting sick and tired of seeing the live action stuff. Like the Monster High, the movie, I am not watching that piece of garbage. And I know Preston Cock would not. Is it really hate the uh, Monster High, the movie? And I don't agree with him because who in my mind wants to see a live action in the world of movement? And honestly, guys, you can say whatever you want about the Teeny Mio Ninja Turtle 2014. Honestly, guys, even if it's not the best movie from 2014, and I already got Megan Fox, and honestly, guys, and honestly, guys, Megan Fox, can you please get off the of Ninja Turtle? Honestly, guys, this is Ninja Turtle, not April, uh, April O'Neil movie, darn it. And so, yeah. And honestly, guys, you can say whatever you want about the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of the Water. But at least, at least they take it in the nostalgia and at least they took a fan base and make it to the really cool way. And honestly, guys, you can say whatever you want about the Michael Bay Ninja, and Ninja Turtle. Honestly, guys, even Ninja Turtle 2014, even that movie's turning, is to, um, um, what, um, um, sorry, sorry. And all, and all the guys, even Ninja Turtle 2014, next year is 2010 years old. And all the guys, as to, oh my goodness, that is too old. What the time that goes. And so, yeah, guys, and at least they took it in the nostalgia. And at least Michael Bay understand how Ninja Turtle become. And at least my, uh, Michael Bay understand how the fan base begins and just like the sequel. But all the guys, and third movie is not happening because the sequel bombed, and all the guys, that is really sad, and all the guys, and I would miss seeing Ninja Turtles. So let's hope, let's hope my friend of mine would, um, would take me to go see that Seth Rogen Ninja Turtle anime movie, so let's hope so, let's hope so. So overall, guys, my problem with the Disney, I'm oh, sorry, and the second reason I have a problem with it, this has to be every time you will be making live action, and you keep telling the story over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. A lot of people are sick of it. Um, and, all, and honestly, guys, and honestly, every single time they do a live action stuff and every single time they keep doing the retell the story over and over and over and over and over again, nonstop, and people, and, um, including your general audience, a general audience, are sick of it. And so, yeah, and people need a... Um, come some original idea. If you want to make some live action remake, do it in a proper way. Just don't copy the original film, original film, and make it to the really and nasty way. Just like the movie twenty twenty three, the even the visual book as we're discussing, and even my um, even Melissa Coffey is going to be the was uh was part of the movie twenty twenty three. So who in my mind want to see uh who in my mind want to see uh. Uh, Melissa Coffee, you know, honestly, guy, even I'm not a fan of Melissa Coffee, so I don't care what the woman said. And it, I ain't, I ain't anyway, guys, and anyway, after I heard that DreamWorks is going to take Disney size, and now they're going to remake some animated movie into, into a live action, and the first stuff they're doing is How to Tune the Dragon. Why not you just remake of, of Wise of a Guardian? Because honestly, guy, even Wise of a Guardian is a bet. <sighs> It's honestly one of the best animated movies from 2012, and that movie turn, um, uh, just turned 10 years old last year, so it's been 10 years that that Rise of a Guardian. Pretty shocking, right? And sorry, guys. Th um, and sorry, guys. Dreamwork, if you want to remake some live action, what? Uh, on, 
And honestly, guys, why not you just remake, remake a uh, Why Is a Begonian? Because honestly, guys, even Why Is a Begonian is such a masterpiece, but that movie bombed the box office, and that movie destroyed DreamWorks, and now I will be, honestly, guys, I, honestly, guys, I'm getting sick and tired, sick and tired of this DreamWorks nonsense, and now those and now they're surviving the Shrek franchise, and I do not want to see a live-action version of Shrek. Yeah, I do not want to see that. And so, yeah, guys, and honestly, and honestly, guys, I won't mind they, uh, they will do a live-action of Good Walker, which honestly, guys, that is honestly one of my favorite characters of The Last Wish. But honestly, guys, I do not want to see a live-action Shrek, which that would be a huge nightmare, and I do not want to see that in my screen. Get that. And honestly, guys, I do not want to see a live action of Shrek. And honestly, guys, that is absolutely a nightmare. And get that nightmare off my screen. And sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, I was stupid. Anyway, guys, and honestly, guys, after all you heard the news that How to Change the Dragon is getting remade, uh, remade, uh, remade into a live action by Universal on the work. Honestly, guys, I am losing hope for this live action remake. And honestly, guys, the only thing you should remake... This has to be, I hate to say it, but this has to be Rise of Goldia, which honestly, guys, that movie bombed the box office, and that movie lost so many money from Joy Muck, which is really sad, too, because Rise of Goldia has potential to be a really good, a really good, fun in the Avengers movies. But ain't wrong, or the movie bomb, and honestly, guys, just because the movie bombed, it didn't mean Rise of Goldia is forgotten, and for God's sake, we got so many fans of, of Jack Frost X, my favorite character from the Frozen, it's had to be Elsa. Man, see Jack Frost x Elsa. This is hands down one of the best fan art ever. The same thing with Elsa x Honey Million. And so, you guys, the people, you need to stop. Honestly, guys, you need to stop doing uh, Honey Million x Ryder. The boat put in the sister. Not left couple. That is really disgusting. Yeah. And so, you guys, that was my problem with the live action remake. And honestly, guys, it's not just me. Harry Thomas all sick of it. And some people are all sick of it. And honestly, guys, I'm sick of tired of seeing a live action remake stuff. This live action remake stuff is driving me up the wall. It is need to stop. And so, hey guys, if you like this video, please, I recommend you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share it with the whole family. And honestly, guys, if you want to see some okay outputs of rant, do it until I'm not doing it. And honestly, guys, I might send the link on my description box below. On the first thing you still your YouTube channel. And honestly, guys, you can check it out, and you can in the mage that what way um that what they did to the YouTuber. Anyway, anyway, guys, subscribe, comment, share the video with your family, and honestly, guys, tell me which honestly, guys, tell me what your opinion on this white badge remake, and are you like some people that you was t uh, <coughs> and all and and honestly, guys, tell me what your opinion on white badge remake, and honestly, guys, uh, and honestly, guys, are you? Uh, and honestly, guys, all you like some people that you defend this live action and you think it's a great plan. And all you, and honestly, guys, and all you, honestly, guys, honestly, guys, and all you just, all, just like me and Harry Thomas are saying, all oh, you are sick of it. And, uh, and honestly, honestly, guys, just, honestly, guys, it's the main reason why this Hollywood is disaster because they keep remake a make it live action. And honestly, guys, and honestly, guys, I do not want to see a live action. Honestly, guys, I do not want to see a live action of Madagascar. Honestly, guys, the same thing with Shrek. And honestly, guys, same live action of Madagascar and Shrek and Cover Fan. It would be disaster, and it would be a huge my uh, nightmare. So get um, and and so yeah, sorry I'm saturating. Sorry I'm saturating. Back on saying. Sorry, guys. Once again, I do not want to see a live action Shrek. Dream of please do not dream like that. That would be a huge nightmare, and get that nightmare. And get that night, uh, and get that nightmare off my screen. I do not want to see that. Yeah, you know better than that. You know better than that, Dreamwork. You know better than that. You're not Disney, and you're not, and you're not Nickelodeon because even Nickelodeon is doing live action nonsense. But anyway, and anyway, guys, they are making the sequel of the Monster Hunter movie. But I don't even care because I'm not watching the movie, darn it. So yeah. Sorry, guys, and I'm probably present would definitely agree with me with this video because even he's sick of, of, sick of, sick of, of, we make, um, stuff. And honestly, guys, if you want me to do a rant, honestly, guys, if, honestly, guys, if you want me to do a video called My Pawn with Reboot because Reboot these days is really driving me off the wall, too, I might do that. And honestly, guys, I won't mind the spin up and prequel, but we make and, and, and pre, um, and reboot is really hurting Hollywood these days, and people don't want to come up the original idea, like right? giving them a nostalgia, which, what the heck. So, hey guys, I see you next time. It's all on Computer Tooth, Hollywood, take my advice, enough of this live action stuff, and Dream Mug, do not green white Shrek. And honestly, guys, I do not want to see a live action of Shrek. That would be a huge nightmare. It would be disaster of. of <laughs> and honestly, guys, that would be a true disaster of the Dream Mug. Same thing with the Troll 3, and get that nightmare off my screen. Mm -hmm.